Hi and thanks for joining me. This is Sean from the Techie Coach and in this video tutorial we're going to talk about how you can use Google Forms with younger learners now that Google Forms has given us the ability to add images to not only questions but also to multiple choice options in those questions. So I'm going to use this untitled form that I've set up and I'm just going to quickly show you how you can do that. And let's say you're using a Google Form as a quiz for sight words so that you can teach your younger children how to associate words like apple with a picture that they see. So here I've typed in the word apple and you'll notice with every question now you'll see this insert image icon. I could easily add an image here but what you may not have noticed is that on multiple choice questions and check boxes and other question types you can click on that insert image icon there and add a picture. So I'm going to do a quick search here and I'm going to add some pieces of fruit and we're just going to make up a real quick sight words quiz. And there you have it. We've got an apple now. And we click on add option, click insert image, and we can quickly just add banana. And we'll add one more. We'll add an orange. And so if you've got younger kids that are just now starting to use Google tools and you've got some Chromebooks available to you, or maybe you're using tablets instead, you can set up this quiz with these images either in the question or in the options for the responses in the multiple choice section. And you've got a quick and easy sight words quiz. So let's take a look. We'll go up to the preview button here. We'll click on it. And there you can see on this first one, you can see that they've got the word apple and then they just click to associate the word that is the apple and then they can hit submit. Now again this still may take some learning for your kids especially the younger ones because they they may need some direction as far as to you know where to click uh, to submit and to associate the apple the word apple with the site clue given by the picture but hopefully this makes things a little bit easier for you. Um, this is something that teachers have been asking for for years is the ability to use symbols instead of words in multiple choice questions. And so for instance, you know, another way to do this would be to uh, add another question. So let's say in this question we're going to put in a shape. I'm going to click on the insert image option and I've already done a search here for a triangle and we'll just throw this triangle in there. And so instead of putting the shape in the responses, we're going to put it in the question and then they have to associate the word from the multiple choice options. So here you've got your triangle and you've got your three shapes. And again, if we go into the preview window, you can see we've got the word and they choose the word and they choose the picture that goes with the word and then we've got the shape and they choose the name that goes with that shape and so just a couple of different options there and of course um, there's a lot of different applications for this and uh, now that we can put images into the questions and the answers hopefully this helps you and thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time <music>